so let's start the illustration number 3 which is uh, related to the theory of center of mass but this particular illustration is also related to the kinematic equation and that will be clear in solving this example so see what is written over here at time t is equals to 0 a stone of 0.1 kilogram is released freely from a high rise building and Another stone of 0.2 kg is released from the same position after 0.1 second. So this is the phenomenon which we can see by drawing a simple figure over here. So this is the figure in which this stone of 0.1 kg, this is the 0.1 kg stone is freely falling from a high rise building and after 0.1 second this ball is freely falling. Now, at time t is equals to 0.3 second, we have to find out the distance of center of mass of the two stones from the original position. So, for that, my first task is to write down the details of some given characteristic. So, the mass of stone 1 is equals to m1 is equals to 0.1 kg and the mass of stone 2 is equals to m2 is equals to 0.2 kg now, if we consider the velocity of these two stones at initially, the speed of stone 1, I am symbolically written it as V01 as 0 meter per second and the speed of stone 2 is equals to v02 and initially its speed is also 0 meter per second now if you consider the case 1 in which Time is given as 0.3 second. So, at this particular time, the distance which is travelled by stone 1 is equals to d1 now see if you remember the kinematic equation then in that case we have obtained the second equation as d is equals to v0t plus 1 half at square but here subscript 1 is used for first stone so d1 is equals to v01 plus 1 by 2 at square but Instead of A, I am putting the gravitational acceleration G because the stone is freely falling from the high rise building. Therefore, D1 is equals to V01 is 0 plus 1 by 2. G is having the value of 9.8. T is given as 0 0.3, so is square. Therefore, D1 is equals to 4.9 into 0.3 into 0.3. So, the final answer will be for the distance travelled by first stone is 0 0.44 
वन मीटर ऑल्सो सिमिलरली वी कंसिडर फॉर स्टोन टू नाउ स्टोन टू वॉज रिलीज आफ्टर पॉइंट वन सेकेंड देर फॉर एट टाइम टी इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट थ्री सेकेंड the time for stone to to fall is t dash is equals to 0.3 second Minus point one second. So the final answer is point two second. And with this, the distance which is travelled by stone two is given by So same equation, second kinematic equation, d two is equals to v zero two t plus one by two g t square. Therefore, this quantity is zero plus one by two into nine point eight into point two square. Here you should not forget that this t we have taken over here is t dash. So it is one by two into nine point eight into point two into point two. So the final answer will be point one nine six meter. So this is the distance travelled by the second stone. Hence, at time t is equals to point three second. So At the time t is equals to 0.3 second, the distance of center of mass of the system means d c m is equals to distance of center of mass of the system. Is equals to same concept of center of mass is applicable over here m1 d1 plus m2 d2 divided by total mass of the system m1 plus m2. Therefore, d c m is equals to 0.1 into 0.441 plus m2. Is equals to point two into the distance d two. We have obtained it as point one nine six, and below point one plus point two. I am directly writing point three. Therefore, distance of center of mass it comes out to be point two two seven meter. Do not forget to write down the unit. Otherwise, your one mark is gone. So this is the distance of center of mass of the system between two stones. So this is the end of the first task of illustration number three. Now we will move further for the second task. So the second task was how fast is the center of mass of the system of Two stones moving at that time. So here the time is point three second again, and the time interval to fall the second stone means t dash was point two second. So at that time, first of all, I am finding the speed of stone two. 
एट दिस टाइम पॉइंट टू सेकेंड इज v2 टू इज इक्वल टू वी जीरो टू प्लस जी टी डैश इट इज ऑल्सो दी फर्स्ट कैनामेटिक इक्वेशन वी इज इक्वल टू वी जीरो प्लस ए टी बट हियर दिस्क्रिप्ट इज यूज एंड इंस्टेड ऑफ एक्सेलरेशन आई एम यूजिंग द ग्रेविटेशनल एक्सेलरेशन बिकॉज ऑफ द बॉडी और द स्टोन इज फ्रीली Falling from here, our second task is started, and therefore now I am substituting all the value. So v2 is equal to zero plus nine point eight into point two is equal to one point ninety six meter per second. Therefore v2 is equal to one point nine six meter per second. So At the time t is equals to point three second, the velocity of the center of mass of the system. and here is the system of not two particles but two stones is given by vcm is equals to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 divided by m1 plus m2 now the velocity of the first particle is known for to us what it is it is given as 2.94 meter per second which we have not found until but you can try it by your self so it is 2.94 meter per second the mass of the first particle is 0.1 into 2.94 plus the mass of the second particle is 0.2 the velocity of The second stone is 1.96, and the whole term is divided by 0.3, and therefore the velocity of the center of mass system is 0.2. Is equals to 2.29 meter per second. So this is the end of task number two. Now let's start the third task, and is given by what will be the momentum of the system of two stones at this time? So here also the time is given as point three second, and the total momentum of the system. is given by p and it is the resultant sum of individual stones so it is p1 plus p2 is equals to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 so it is a nice example in which all the necessary equations are cleared so mass of the first stone is 0.1 velocity of the first stone is 2.94 which you have to find Plus point two, and this we have already find in task number two. So finally, you will get the answer as point six eight six kilogram meter per second. But it is better that you rounding of this figure. So this is point six nine kilogram meter per second. So all three tasks. has been successfully performed in this particular illustration one more illustration 
is given in your textbook related to the theory illustration number 4. 